All right, we're back again, and hopefully we can get that RV in there. We did a lot of measurements. Hope I didn't make a mistake. And then we're gonna build the barn around the RV, get all this siding on, and make it nice and cozy inside. All right, we've got a big day ahead. This barn is finally really showing some progress. We've got the really detailed skeletal work done that took forever. Um, but now we're, we've been slapping on walls. We've got the roof pretty close to being done. And today we are going to put the load hauler 3000 to use. It is going to earn its keep today. So let's see how that plays out. Hey, what are you doing? I know you're Kyla. Are you playing? Play. Are you nice and warm? You look yeah. like a little Eskimo baby. Uh, See, I am a little Eskimo baby. Uh, Eskimo baby. <laughs> so today is a big day because we're working on the inside and preparing the barn to bring in the camper. What we've done is marked a line around the base uh, girt here. You can see that line. Now, the ultimate plan here is we're gonna be bricking this area with all the brick around the property. Um, so this gravel is the first step in that. So this morning we have picked up all the loose screws with our magnet, we've raked it somewhat level, we've gotten rid of the excess mud around the post, and now we're bringing in this first layer of base. Um, mind you, that's not counting the ag lime base they put on when they created the pad. But this gravel is going to bring uh, this ground to basically level because you can see at that end, it's still on a slope. You see how high those boards are. So the gravel is going to set everything level for us on the inside and be the first step before we start working on an actual floor in here. One more step toward mud control inside the barn though, which will be a very nice relief. We got. Uh couple of us working on the roof here. Almost finished up putting the tin on. Got a couple of fine gentlemen over here working on the fascia boards on the side. And then we've got to finish up the end. Everything's looking good here and it is a BEA beautiful day. Gotta love it. What a difference a day makes. We got all the tin on. We got the edges on. Bar boards, fascia boards, and we have a dried in barn. Praise the Lord, and thank you for the help of our dear friends from the church. Once the roof was on, we were finally ready for the much anticipated task of putting the RV into the barn. I think you did it. Yeah, I think we got it in here. We've got about two inches on the awning there. We have 38 inches on the slide out and we need 36. And we're fine in the back. Actually, we pulled this a little bit further back. We'll take off the spare tire so we can actually have a walk through here, which we didn't think we'd have. We actually have a slightly more space than we thought. And I can open the door, I think. We can actually get in and out of the camper. We'll put some padding on that post <laughs> so we don't destroy our door. Okay. So let's get this thing hooked back up, and uh, I need to figure out how to start that. Got a man door here, because we knew this would be tight. And we left extra space on this side because this uh, room slides out, slide out on the camper, and it requires 33 inches, and we allowed, I think it's 35. So we'll have two inches to spare on this side as well. Well, I did. I did thirty-six. We got. Oh, you got thirty-six. Okay. But I, I think it's less than thirty-six. I just wanted thirty-six. We'll find out once we open it. All right. Tight fit, but uh, this is going to be our new home for a little while. We spent an hour or so setting up our new home area, and then it was back to work on siding that barn. We literally built the barn shelter around the camper at this point. After siding the south side of the barn, which is where most of our winds come from, Sean set to the task of repositioning our solar panels to the roof of the barn to power the Blue Eddy 
which powers the RV. Once everything inside was set up, it was time for Sean to get back to the mill. Hey Ruthie, what are we doing today? Uh, making siding, cutting siding. Uh, well, how big is that log? Uh, 16 inches by 16 inches and 10 feet long. 10 and a half actually, isn't it? That's uh, a big chunk of wood there. Yeah. All right, let's get some pieces made, all right? the final sections on the front wall here and you can see he's putting the final little blocks in we've discussed this in previous videos but you basically have your girts which are the horizontal boards and then you have the vertical boards that support the framing like in this case it's on either side of the window there but every time we have a space of some kind we put a block of wood here between the girt. That way all the weight from the top transfers down and is spread out over every girt. It also supports the girts so that all the weight is not on the fasteners themselves. So he's putting the final and this particular section is critical because that horizontal bar up there by his torso and that header are going to support the track for our sliding barn doors. So that's going to have several hundred pounds hanging on it. So these, these little blocks of wood are going to be distributing a lot of weight and spreading it out to make sure nothing collapses. And then the siding goes on top of that. Whoops, lost your hammer. All right. Oh, my nail got up there. <laughs> got to go back up. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> All right, we've got a board here that's just an eighth of an inch overlapping, but there's an eighth inch gap in here. So we're gonna try to bend it backwards and shove it in. So once that dries a little bit, a gap forms anyway. So even though it's really tight now, within a week or so, it's gonna shrink and be a nice, perfect fit. Nice and snug. All right, we're good. Well, it's crunch time now. We've got a winter storm moving in this weekend. It's gonna go from a, a high around 60 on Saturday, which is gonna be gorgeous, but it's gonna be severe thunderstorms, followed by a 50 degree drop in temperature down to about 10 degrees, maybe 15 degrees on Saturday night. So um, we've gotta get the, uh, the walls put up here so we can have some warmth. Hopefully get a stove in. Don't know if we can do it all, but we're gonna try. And we've got a lot of progress on the south wall. We're working on the north wall right now, and it's starting to get dark. So we're gonna bring out the lanterns and see what we can do. All right, so we've got kind of an assembly line going here. First, uh, Sean milled the boards. Then they work on planing. I come over here, measure and cut what we need at the table saw. And JR paints the ends, takes them over, and mounts them where they go. Again, like we've mentioned before, we paint the ends just to help uh, prevent the splitting that can happen when you're working with green wood. It dries on the ends faster than the middle. Uh, so that slows that drying down and prevents the cracking. But we get this assembly line going and things are moving pretty quick. Ruth, I've heard of some people having a screw loose, but... Uh, why do you have screws sticking out of your head here? Uh, because my earmuffs were falling apart and duct tape didn't work, so I used screws. So when duct tape doesn't work, use three inch and two inch coated screws. They're good for treated lumber. I guess they're good for plastic too. You kind of look like uh, Marvin Martian almost. Can you pick up radio signals with those? No. Yeah. No. You look cute. Hi. Lunch time on the farm. Say hi guys. Everybody's ignoring me. This is actually the first day of sun we have had in about two and a half weeks and it is gorgeous out here. Working is so much more pleasant, but I think it's the 
the calm before the storm that's moving in. So we're frantically trying to get this barn somewhat sealed in. Although the weather was friendly for building, the mud from our previous rains made our work extremely difficult. We slogged through mud day after day. Of course, we took time off to let the kids just be kids and play. They've contributed a lot to this building project, and we really pray that these memories will be something they will treasure forever. <laughs> Well, we're pretty happy we got the RV inside the barn and we got some siding up. Now we need to really seal it up and get some heat in there. Thanks for all those subscribers we have out there. We love your comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. We'll see you next week.